Last time we looked at the sample space method, which used combinatorics to determine the probability of drawing at least one flame strike by the end of 11 draws. And now we will do the same exact problem, but using the hypergeometric distribution, which will give us the probability that x takes on a random variable k. Here's the formula for the hypergeometric distribution, quite big, however quite useful. So capital N is the population size, and in our case this is the deck size, which is 30. Capital K is the number of success states in the population, so in our deck there are two flame strikes, and that means there are two success states within our deck. Lowercase n is the number of draws we have done so far, so in our case it would be 11 draws because we've drawn 11 cards by now. And lowercase k is the value that we set our random variable equal to, and that is the number of observed successes after drawing 11 cards. And for our case, we are setting lowercase k equal to zero because we're looking for zero flame strikes drawn after 11 cards. Now all that's left to do is plug in our numbers into the hypergeometric distribution. We start by setting our random variable x equal to zero, and we know that the population size is 30, the number of success states in the population is 2, the number of cards drawn is 11, and the number of observed successes will be equal to zero. We see that the numbers we are left with are very similar, in fact exactly the same as the numbers we had in the previous problem using combinatorics, and we end up with the same exact answer that we had before.